welcome to the Geek Legion of Doom. This is a superhero movie review and I'll be having a look at Power Pack. So this isn't actually a movie, this is actually just a pilot episode of a never picked up TV show, but I will include it in my superhero movie review, although as I say it's only 27 minutes long so it really isn't a movie. So Power Pack is a Marvel comic that is basically the tale of four children who receive uh, superpowers from an, a horse-like alien being. The actual uh, pilot starts with like, the characters already having the powers, so it's not an origin story at all. We get a little bit of exposition at the front, sort of showing, you know, hearing like an alien voice, sort of telling us ultimately that you know these um, these kids have got powers, but we don't ever see it. I would guess that's probably for budget reasons more than anything else. So we've got the four kids, two two boys and two girls, living with their parents, just moved to a new town. And the parents know that obviously the kids have got their powers. The powers have slightly changed to the comics. Uh, one of the powers that one of the characters had in the comics was to sort of disperse and do a kind of like a mist. And they don't have that. You've got, um, I think, the, the, the oldest, I forget the character's names to be honest with you. Alex Power, the, who's the oldest boy, has got kind of sort of super strength. Uh, the, the younger boy, uh, Alex, can shrink down to a, a smaller size. And then the girls, you've got uh, the, the older girl, she can kind of go sort of super fast in a kind of like rainbow sort of blur. And um, the, the youngest girl, who is the youngest out of four children, has kind of some kind of projective uh, electricity blast and things like that. Now, she gets the kind of least, least amount of screen time because she's, of, she's by far the youngest. The other three, basically, it's really their kind of first day in this new school, and they're trying to sort of fit in. It kind of does. It does have almost like a like a, a kind of Spielbergy feel to it. You, you know, you have these sort of like young kids, obviously, with a with a potentially uh, supernatural secret. It, it did have that kind of feel to me, obviously. On a, you know, I'm not saying it's as good as Spielberg in any, any means, but it did kind of have that vibe. It also reminded me of all the film Monster Squad as well. So the the real plot here is is Jack Power, who is the the younger boy, sort of ends up sort of hanging around with these two lads, and they they hear rumours of a, a kind of old house, which you know rumours are that it's haunted, and they go in there, and uh, Jack sort of steals a medallion, which of course means the angry ghost sort of comes after him and wants to replace it, and then ultimately it's just a story of the the kids going in back into the house and. Sort of to to basically put this sort of medallion back in its rightful place, and there they have a, a, a sort of couple of, of ghostly encounters. It's really not all that menacing, although ironically, the youngest one is actually attacked by a zombie, which is probably the most sort of horrific thing of the actual house, which I just thought was quite amusing. But that that was really the plot. So the plot was was very very slight. There wasn't a lot to it. I don't know the exact reasons why. It, you know, obviously, it was never picked up. I say you know, as a sort of series, it does look very, very cheap. It reminds me a lot of the, the Justice League TV movie and also the Misfits of Science, if you've seen that as well. It's it's a very, very cheap looking show, but this is 1991 we're talking about on a TV budget, so there's only so much that they can do. I guess they've kind of changed up the powers a little bit again for budgetary reasons. For a kind of maybe a kid's show, I thought the humour was quite good. It actually made me chuckle out loud when uh, there's one scene where Alex Power is kind of getting chatted up by this sort of girl in his class and she stands up and she's considerably taller than him and, he's, and, and the sort of look in his face. I actually found that quite funny. Um, but there's, there's a couple of scenes where I thought it was okay. This is, I mean, there's sort of the interaction with the kids kind of reminds me of that, of that sort of Spielberg film or, or Super 8 if you've seen that also. So I actually, you know, I actually think this was probably better than the, the Justice League TV pilot, which I thought was pretty bad. Uh, I guess it works better in a way because it's, because it's with children, so it can kind of be a little bit more basic and a kind of a little bit more, you know, aimed at kids. It's a shame it wasn't picked up actually, because, you know, who, who knows where it might have gone um, in regards to the sort of pilot. But obviously this, the early 90s weren't, weren't the best of this sort of TV, to be fair. So uh, I'm going to give this one a, a 4.5 out of 10. Uh, for its budget, I actually thought it was a bit of fun and, uh, you know, I would have maybe watched a few more if they were made. If you haven't seen it, it's actually available on YouTube in three different parts. You can just watch it on YouTube. Go check them out. See you soon. Bye-bye for now.